We have for a number of years um, been working with the DA's office and trying to address this question of human trafficking uh, that's taking the form of uh, sexual exploitation of minors. Uh, as as uh, some of you may know, uh, our first uh, bill on this was AB 499, where we la launched a pilot uh, program here in Alameda County, uh, where we were addressing the question of uh, uh, taking children uh, underaged uh, who were being sexually exploited and making sure they were treated as victims uh, and not as criminals. Uh, and we will have some comments about the success of that, of that pilot uh, here in this county. Uh, and uh, then we pursued uh, uh, AB 17, which uh, is another attempt to rescue uh, uh, young people, some as young as 12, 14 year old, uh, who have been exposed to uh, these uh, sexual predators and those that would profiteer uh, on, uh, on our young people. And so AB 17, uh, which the governor uh, has signed into law now, uh, puts this in the category of a profiteering and allows us uh, to uh, seize assets uh, that, uh, that uh, the law also mandates uh, that uh, half of those assets uh, be directed toward um, uh, assisting uh, these children and families that have been victimized uh, by those who would profiteer in this matter. In 2006, the Alameda County District Attorney's Office created the Human Trafficking and Exploitation Unit. With that unit, we were able to identify the level and the enormous numbers of children being sexually assaulted and sexually exploited by adults who are putting on them into the sex trade on the streets. Working with Assemblymember Swanson, we were able to put together the legislation AB 499 signed by the governor. And that legislation allowed us to create a program that treated these victim, these children as victims and not as perpetrators of a crime. Importantly in that legislation, it are, was creating a program that would help these kids heal from the, the pain and the victimization that they had experienced. Following up with that was AB 17, which we're here to celebrate and discuss, which increases the punishment and the penalties for those who are convicted of human trafficking and sexual exploitation of our youth. What the legislation does is it adds an increased punishment of up to $20,000 for those pimps that are convicted. This legislation that was brought, to the, brought forth by Assemblymember Swanson was signed as urgency legislation. We are now in court asking the, the judge to impose those increased fees on those who are profiting off of the victimization of our kids. And that will go very far in providing the necessary resources to provide services to these children that they so greatly need. We're very grateful to be here today. Um, we want to express our appreciation to Sandra Swanson for passing legislation that truly helps these abused girls and boys that at very young ages are exploited for profit by pimps and panders and predators that do take them through different states. Um, they do this through coercion. They do this with threats to these children. And these children need to have programs that will help them to rehabilitate when they come home. Uh, I just want to congratulate Assemblyman Sandry Swanson for his hard work to push this bill to be passed and the vision of uh, our DA, uh, Nancy O'Malley. I'm just very proud here to stand among all of us here because we're making a difference. We're making a difference in these children's life. Uh, the county has been working hard along with all the leadership here to make sure that there's programs available uh, Thank you again for AB 499. We are having a pilot here in Alameda County. And um, I would say hooray to, for this, for our uh, county residents. We are going to make a difference. My name is Charmaine Bach, and I head the HEAT unit, the Human Exploitation and Trafficking Unit, formed by District Attorney Nancy O'Malley to combat commercial uh, sexual exploitation of children which has unfortunately reached epidemic proportions in our country and has yet to be fully recognized 
as the form of child abuse that it is. Um, I am here before you as part of the HUTE unit because of Nancy's visionary leadership. Um, I am here before you to speak about a AP 17 uh, because of Assemblymember Swanson's leadership and enthusiasm, passion, dedication, and commitment to driving uh, this engine forward in the fight. And um, I am honored to have worked with DA O'Malley in securing the passage of AB 17 as well. Um, so thank you, uh, Assemblymember, and thank you, uh, Nancy. I was born and raised in the city of Oakland. And uh, if you drive down International Boulevard, East 14th Street, late in the evening, You'll see uh, young children, 12, 14, 15 years old, standing on corners, and we will pass by them sometimes and keep going and attending to our business. Uh, it's time that we stopped and paid attention. So this is a rescue mission. This is about saving the lives of young people and letting uh, those that would uh, attempt to profiteer uh, and exploit them that here in this county we we will show zero tolerance uh, for that uh, this is this is a clear humanitarian mission to try to reunite families uh, and save uh, young people <laughs> Thank you.